Hello, welcome back to another beer review. Now, we're going to York. I went to Brew York yesterday. Um, a lovely little brewer. Did some fantastic little beers um, on the bar and that. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed myself. And um, I got myself a Brew York beer. And it's a collaboration beer. With an unusual collaboration beer, I have to uh, admit, because the collaboration is with the Jorvik Viking Festival. Now, anybody who's familiar with York, there's um, like um, a museum. Uh, one of the one of the biggest attractions in York is the Jorvik Viking Centre, and it um, tells you the history of Vikings and everything. I've never ever been in it, um, mainly because I think it costs a lot to get in. <laughs> and I'm a tight bugger, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, we've got a beer. Um, obviously, Jorvik Viking Festival aren't uh, a brewer. Um, I think, get me, you know, it says collaboration brew on the, on the can. I think uh, the Jorvik Viking Centre kind of like, um, kind of like giving them you know, um, inspiration behind this. I think that's what it's behind. They, they, they kind of like helped out to trying to get a brew, which is um, something, I suppose, what the Vikings would have drunk. Um, I could be wrong. Murder me in the comment. In the comments. So we have a Sati, a Sati-inspired session ale. Now, Sahat Sati is a Finnish term. Um... If I pronounced it wrong, murder me again in the comments. Sati. S-A-H-T-I. Look it up. It's a Finnish, it's a traditional beer from Finland. And it's made from variety of grains, malted, unmalted, including barley, rye, wheat, oats. Sometimes bread made from these grains is fermented instead of the malt itself. So, yeah. It's one of the world's oldest style of beers. So there you go. When we have Brew York's Ragnar's Revenge. Super smashing great. 4.5% collaboration brew with the Jorvik Viking Festival. As you can see there. And I shall read you the back. Love their cans, Brew York's. I absolutely love, adore their, their, their designs on their cans. I think they're great. Right. Inspired by the saga of the three sons of Ragnar Lothbrok who led the great Viking army invasion of England in AD 866, AD 866, fueled by their thirst for vengeance after their father was put to death in a pit of snakes by the Anglo-Saxon king Aila. Well, that sounds nasty, isn't it, being put in a pit of snakes? Ragnar's Revenge is a Sarti-style ale infused with traditional ingredients including juniper, rosemary and fennel. Discover more at the yorvikvikingfestival.co.uk Beer brewed and canned at Brew York at Warmgate York. It's vegan friendly. I don't think Vikings care if anything is vegan friendly. <laughs> so let's crack the ring. See what we get. I'll pick this up from the Trembling Madness. Um, £2.55. Um, if in York, cracking beer shop. And you do get lots of oats and malts and stuff like that. It does smell very, very nice. It smells quite malty. Very malty, in fact. So, let's whack her in, like you do. See if I'll make a... Because I've been kind of like chucking this can about a bit. Um, I've got a habit of opening them and the beer goes everywhere and stuff and, you know, you know how it is. So, it's like an earthy colour. Earthy colour with a hint of orange there. Only a slight hint of orange. Off, off white head. Um, quite a, very much an off white looking head. You know it's up. Um, see what we get. Smells quite yeasty. Malty. Crisp. 
crackers, that type of thing. Yeah, it does look a bit murky and earthy and stuff. It looks like something primitive. It looks like something what the Vikings would chuck down their throats before they'd go off and decapitate their latest enemy. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, I'm going to wish everybody a happy Easter. So, happy Easter, everybody. I'm going to go in. Quite sweet, very grainy. Um, dare I say, flowery, as in flour, as in what you bake your bread with, you know, that type of thing. It's quite light. Yeah, it feels primitive. <laughs> it does. It, it feels uh, grain, malt, that type of thing. Like a feels like a purist, medieval, not medieval Viking type of beer. Um, very much different. Um, it's it's different. If you're looking for, you know, if you're looking for big flavors, you're not going to get it from this. Um, far from it. But having small little pockets of granary, um, oats, malt, um, grain, does make it very sessionable. I have to agree. It is, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's one. It's it's rather nice. I'll go in again. If this what they were drinking back in the day, I wouldn't complain. Lovely little sweet note on there. I wouldn't complain at all. Um, I don't know how much they were drinking it back in the day. If they were drinking this stuff back in the day. <laughs> With copious amounts of this, kind of like make me want to go out and kill people and murder and pillage. Yeah, I think I could. I think I could go out in the village of street now and start murdering and pillaging. <laughs> now, um, now, let's get serious for one minute. Boys and girls, this is um, a very enjoyable beer. It's not big in flavour. It's got lovely little notes of, of your malt and your and um, bits of grain, like I said. It is rather nice. And it's, it is one of my favourite brewers, Brew York, um, I must admit, every beer I've had from them so far have been cracking. Um, I just wish I did some reviews yesterday in the bar, but noisy, it's quite noisy in there. So next time I go, I will do some reviews in the brewery itself. I'll go in one more time for the road. Nothing else coming out. Earthy. Wheaty, you know the score. Ragnar's Revenge. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Grow your Viking beard and get your loincloths or whatever they wore. <laughs> See you on my next one.